Uh, what's up guys welcome to another video of lava locked in so in the previous video we have already set up uh, lava locked in with soul and roadrunner we did some benchmarking and uh, we saw like the results for soul and roadrunner both and um, the both results are pretty promising so in this video we're going to look at lava locked in cli and what are the options that it provides and uh, we'll see the practical implications of that and uh, then we'll go from there uh, if you're new to the channel i would um, uh, highly appreciate if you uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, if you like this video uh, be sure to share it and uh, like it it will actually help me help the channel and keep you motivated so yeah let's go ahead and see how we can actually start this uh, start our application so this is the application that we have been trying to test this one so this is a kind of real application that i use to manage my channel here on youtube so it is reading uh, this file system so i am testing on this because it's doing a lot of things that are being addressed by soul or Trojan or both so whenever there's a blocking call so it actually delegate this these blocking calls to task worker and once the task worker actually finish the processing uh, then it could send the response back to worker process and then the worker process uh, move on to finish the business logic so okay so first of all um, we're going to look at how we can actually start this octane server so to start the Octane server, you, you have a PHP artisan Octane command. So we'll go and look at different options here. Okay. So this is the Octane, Octane command that we have, Octane start command we have. Uh, these are the options that we use, we can use. So the first option is uh, server. So here we can specify soul or roadrunner, whichever server we want to use. So let's go ahead and run this application using both. And we'll see like uh, how it works. So if you want to run using Soul, you can run PHP Artisan, Octane, Sword, and you can use Soul. Okay, so it will run a Soul server in the background, in the daemon, and you can access it using this guy. Okay, so now the Soul server is running. You want to check the status of this server, so you server that if the server is running or not, you can use PHP Artisan, Octane status. So it will tell you like, okay, Octane server is running here. Uh, and if you want to run the roadrunner server, you can actually run uh, Octane start server roadrunner. So now it is running the roadrunner server here. So you can go ahead and check it out. Okay, so now there will be no difference here. Uh, so just to, uh, to tell you like if you can switch the server from this as well. Because if you don't specify the server here, so by default the, it will publish Octane config here. And let me remove this guy. This I was testing before. Okay, so it will take this, uh, take the value of server from here, Octane server. So here you can specify uh, Octane server spool or Octane server uh, uh, roadrunner. Okay. Okay. This is the first option that we I wanted to show you. And let's go ahead and close this guy. Okay. Now, so sometimes, like uh, for example, if you have this server running for uh, Octane start and you can you close this browser so it will still be running let's go ahead and see like uh, we, we can check this octane status okay octane server is still running so how you can close these processes so if you go here and uh, let's go ahead and check the processes so you will see like uh, these are the soul server threads that are actually being spawned so if you want to close this you can do this php artisan octane stop and this will stop the server and let's go ahead and check the processes again now we only have php fpm running here so yeah this is also a very handy command that uh, you can use it okay so the next option that we're going to look at is uh, https that is not a cli option but this is the env option uh, if you go to octane and this this is the https that you have so by default, uh, when you run the Octane server, it is running on uh, HTTP. Uh, so let's go ahead and see this. So it is running on HTTP and uh, and it will also, all the links that it will generate will be HTTP as well. So if you want to generate the HTTPS link here, so for example, let's go here and instead of this, we can use this. Okay, so if you go to inspect and Let's pick this link. Uh, it's not a link. Let's go ahead and check this guy. Okay, uh, so this is a link here. So let's go ahead and now run it with HTTPS and see like what is the difference now. And we can go here and we can run uh, true. And yeah, I think that's it. 
so it should actually uh, provide oh, so yeah so these are all the HTTP link that it will provide here uh, so yeah this is up to you that uh, if you want to run, uh, render your link HTTP uh, if you're using HTTP or using HTTPS so let's set it to false again and restart this server okay uh, let's go ahead and refresh it and now you can see like this is running running the HTTP link uh, the third one that we want to look at is uh, the watch so for the watch command uh, I just want to uh, look at like how it behaves and without the watch command and then we will see like what is the difference and so okay uh, this is the round that i created for this hello world uh, so the problem with uh, laravel opt-in or SOOL or total is so whenever you run a SOOL server so it keeps your application in the memory and then this task worker uh, does process the business logic so each task worker has your application in the memory so on um, each request actually uh, it does not load uh, the application again so it have all the application inside itself so it will just run uh, your request and uh, that's it so uh, whenever if there's a code chain it will not be able to detect because the application is already in memory so let's go ahead and uh, just run this hello world again to uh, to help you understand the problem here so uh, let me go ahead and make a code change let's change hello there let's go ahead and refresh it so you can see like it, you know, there is no difference uh, it's still hello region so to do to fix this actually i can already provide an api uh, an option here for us that is watch so octane start if you use watch so it can actually look for the ch um, uh, changes in file and then it, it will refresh the task workers so let's go ahead and make an make a change here hello world so once i press ctrl s uh, so it detected the application chain and it will refresh the worker restart the worker and we get the hello world and, uh, to add to this option uh, if you go to octane config you can see there will be a watch uh, key here so yeah so this is the key so uh, this is the watch array so here there is the folder and file that it will be looking for so it will not be looking for the storage directory or any log file that uh, keeps changing on every request so yeah there if you have code in like if you are doing a package development and you want to you have this package here inside your application and you can actually add that here uh, to have it refresh on every request or um, whenever there is a file change uh, so yeah, this is another option I wanted to show you and um, one next option is now one more thing like uh, you can use watch uh, so watch command is using a chokidar uh, under the hood so if you go to vendor and uh, laravel octane and pin and this is the file watcher that you're using so as you can see like it is you can see in chokidar here uh, so for that uh, you need to run npm install and uh, then it will install all the dependencies if you haven't run uh, if you find run into error and uh, like php or it's an octane installed uh, dash dash watch you will get an error if you don't have chokidar installed so just run npm install and then it will go away okay so yeah this is the thing so the next thing is uh, php artisan uh, workers uh, octane short so as you can see like from the definition so uh, by default so octane will short uh, the workers that um, equivalent to your cpu cores so if you have four cpu cores it will start four workers if you have eight cores then it will start eight workers if you have 16 cores it will start 16 workers right so for me uh, whenever i run it will it actually start uh, i think eight workers let's see and check this out so let's go ahead and open the terminal and yes So you can see like, uh, so yeah, for me, it's uh, starting at around uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, around 32 workers. So yeah, so you can change it based on your uh, CPU that you have. So if you want to run eight workers, so like for example, on the server, if you, you can run it like maybe eight or 16 based on your uh, server, but you cannot run it 32 or 60 workers, like they will, uh, because it will consume a lot of uh, like processing power and you might get a ticket from uh, your hosting company so yeah uh, this is another thing that you can do so i can uh, maybe run like um, workers maybe eight and let's check the piece again Okay, now like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
so now it actually decreased this uh, workers now uh, but yeah so this is what you can do and uh, then again there are like task workers so you know the relation between workers and task workers so if your application does a lot of um, file reading in database tasks so you need to increase your task worker and uh, like if you have more business logic and uh, lesser file io or database io then you can increase these workers and decrease the task worker your application will still be working uh, so yeah this is the this is the relation between worker and task worker and uh, so this is the maximum request uh, there is another option max, max request that you can use to restart uh, your task worker gracefully so uh, why you need this sometime like um, so the problem with application that are kept in memory is like you may get a memory leak uh, here and there so that's why it is better to actually start your uh, workers uh, after a certain request so this is for each worker so once each worker has handled like 250 requests so it will reload and um, then there are these come on again like um, for example you are running your php artisan opt-in start in your daemon and uh, then you want to uh, reload all the workers so you can run this opt-in reload so it will reload all the workers okay uh, and uh, yeah uh, that's pretty much it and we already covered status and then also like uh, if you have this octane shot here and you close the daemon and you can actually go here and you can run artisan octane stop so it will stop the um, stop the octane octane server and uh, one more thing like um, octane reload so you typically like whenever you have an application change you are deploying it on the server so after the deployment uh, you can actually run the reload and it will reload application your application to memory and your application will keep working uh, so yeah that's pretty much it for this video so in the next video we'll look at like um, how laravel octane works internally at a very at like high level to maybe a slightly low level uh, so yeah uh, till then see you cheers bye bye if you have any question or comment let me know uh yeah see you in the next video bye bye